Hello and welcome, I'm Stormer, and that's right, we're doing Undertale. Um, kind of been wanting to play this for a while, I've not really played, I've not actually played the game, in fact, that's slightly lie, I've played the very beginning of the game. Um, and I've not, um, I'm going to reset. Hang on, that's not what I want to do, is it? Uh, no, maybe that was what I wanted to do. Okay, so as you can see, I have actually started, but I'm not very far in. Um, and we, we are going to reset, uh, fully, so we'll go, yes. Um, we'll start the game, uh, straight up from the beginning again. Um, which I think may affect a couple of things, but nothing too seriously. So, um, hopefully we'll figure out what to do and where to go. Um, I have watched a couple of Let's Plays of the very beginning. I don't know a lot about what happens after that. Um, I just know that, uh, this game is crazy. Um, this is our first character that we meet. It's Flowey the Flower. Or maybe it's Flowey the Flower. It's certainly spelt Flowey, so I've just assumed that it's Flowey. Um, but we'll find out. So. And, um... Yes, this is because I've actually already been through this bit, so, um... Yes, if you do this for the first time, um, he says something slightly different. Um, and this basically explains the combat. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with Undertale, it has this really sort of unique combat system that um, involves use moving this heart around to avoid things, uh, which is exactly what we're about to happen uh, soon. So, yes. Now he's going to fire some love pellets at us. And, uh, sorry, friendliness pellets, that's what they are. Am I ready? I, I'm supposed to catch them, but of course what I'm actually supposed to do is not catch them. Yeah, I missed them, sorry. Didn't mean to. Okay, let's try again. Um, before I go any further, I lack the voice talents necessary to voice every character in this game, so I'm not going to read out much. Um, I'll try and leave stuff. Um, I'll try and leave stuff uh, on the screen long enough for people to read, and um, you can always, always pause if you want to catch text that you missed, so feel free to do that. Anyway. <laughs> Flowey is not a nice flower, if we're honest here. Toriel is, I believe, meant to be a goat lady, um, or goat person at least, and um, they are the first sort of character we encounter in the game, um, and like I said, I have been through this basically up to about the point, um, uh, well, up to about where this sort of introductory area ends, so as Toriel leads us to it now go through here. But I haven't played beyond that. I haven't seen beyond that. I don't know what happens. I, I have some hints, um, but I am in fact filled with determination to find out what happens. So we're going to save, and we're going to keep moving on. Um, but yes. Um, I also know, the other thing I know about this game is that we shouldn't attack things. That's the other thing I know about this game. The other thing I know about this game is this music's quite loud. I'm just going to drop my volume down a little bit. Um, probably isn't going to affect you guys, but uh, for me it's quite loud in my headphones. So it has a really nice soundtrack, this game, um, which I'm really happy about. Um, and yeah, Toriel is cool. Let's go do that. Can I interact with that? What's the sign say? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Um, and because there isn't a lot of voice acting in this game, it's likely I'm going to talk over uh, a fair amount of it. Um, but we'll see how we go. Um, it's one of those things where I'll probably just focus on stuff occasionally and not focus on stuff otherwise. Um, this is a bit of a new sort of thing for me. I've never really attempted a game like this um, as a Let's Play uh, on my channel. Uh, mostly having stuck to, well, games with 3D graphics to begin with. 
Um, but more importantly, games that have a lot of voice acting and are sort of major AAA titles. Guess we hit that switch. Yes. Toriel is proud of us, that's great. So, um, and yeah, and if you miss it at the start, I already chose my character's name, so um, we are calling ourselves Stormo as we play through this. Um, so we're going to make our way through here. Yeah, and this is basically explaining um, the combat. Um, and this is probably the coolest feature of this game, is the way the combat works. So, you have the option of... Uh, fighting, um, which you can do, we're actually going to choose act um, rather than fight, and the reason we're going to do that is because one of the things you can do when you act is you can talk, and if you talk to the dummy, you win the fight, um, and that's, that's the really cool thing with this game, um, is this idea that there is always an alternative to actually fighting the enemies. Um, my goal for this Let's Play is to go through the whole game using the talk options um, rather than the fight options to get through. I like how Toriel actually waits for us. Like, if we just stop, she'll stop and wait for us. So we're getting attacked here. Um, so what we do is we'll act, talk to Froggit. Uh, we can threaten or we can compliment. Let's be nice to Froggit. Oh. Oh, I love the way he slinks away. I love the battle graphics. It, it, it's it's one of those sort of less is more things where everything only has these two colours, but the way they're used... The Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. Okay. The way they're used is just incredibly clever. Um, and the, the art style of the game is really cool. Tutorial will lead us through here. So that's cool. I'm not sure I should be calling Toriel a she, actually. I, I've been told it's female, but I think that, like a lot of things in this game, um, uh, the gender of many things in the game is basically at the discretion of the viewer, so um, that's cool. So, but I, I'm certain I've seen somewhere that specifically says that Toriel is female, but maybe, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe they aren't, so. Now we have to get through the room, and we just stay on the path, walk forward for a while, and the music changes. So, have I mentioned how good the music in this game is? What I've heard of it is really, really good. Um, so. And I did deliberately hold off playing this game when it came out, um, with the with the potential for doing it as a Let's Play series. Um, and I wanted to do it as a Let's Play where I didn't go in knowing a lot, um, which is what I've done here. So, like I said, I've been through this very early part and I've seen a little bit of it, um, but beyond uh, this first part of the game, I actually don't know what happens or where it goes from here. So. Yay, we got a cell phone. That's really cool. Okay, we'll be good. We'll um, stay here. Let's let's stay here. Let's just see what's over here for a little bit. Oh, the phone rang. Hey. No, we haven't left the room at all. We're, we're fine. We'll be fine. We're just going to go play in these leaves, okay? That's all we're going to do. We're not going to do anything weird. Might talk to this froggit. Froggit has something to say. It's cool how we can understand the Froggit. So this explains something else about the combat system, uh, which is the Mercy uh, system, which allows you to let a monster go after a certain point in the fight. So that's cool. Um, we'll go up here and we'll grab some candy. Yes, let's take a piece of candy. That will, I'm certain, come in handy. So 
saved. And we're in the leaf pile. And we can go this way. Is there anything in this leaf pile? Yes, there's a froggit. Oh, it hopped close. Uh, let's say nice things about the froggit. Oh, it was flattered. Oh, flushed deeply. Oh, it's decided to send some insects at us. Okay, and this is the mercy thing, so we can spare the froggit, and we won, and we got two gold. Now, one thing I do know about the combat is that if you do do it the way we're going to be doing it, you don't gain experience, so you don't level up. Um, so it's just something to be aware of. Um, it's not a big issue for us, but it is uh, just the way the game's designed. So we will get gold, but we won't get XP unless we actually fight things, but... I don't want to fight things, because there's a particular reason uh, we don't want to actually fight. Uh, so we're going to keep talking our way through the game. Um, so I also know that froggets have a couple of different attacks. This is the other attack that froggets do, where they jump. Uh, okay, let's spare the froggit. And we get two more gold. Excellent. We're doing okay. Cinnamon or butterscotch? You know, I think if I'm honest, I prefer cinnamon. I'm sure that won't be important later. That, that, that's okay. Three out of four grey rocks recommend you push them. Well, I feel like three out of four grey rocks is not entirely unlike nine out of ten nutritionists in a lot of ways. It's probably a conspiracy by the organisation behind grey rocks. Frog it! Uh, he's flattered. And now he's going to attack. Is he going to jump or is he going to throw insects at us? He's going to throw insects. So we've got to dodge the insects. Oh! Oh, we didn't get hit. Okay, let's mercy the froggit, and we will head on. Th that's a horrible way to say it, isn't it? Let's mercy the froggit. Okay, we pushed the rock onto the thing, and that made the things go away. Go up here. Um, but yeah, as I said, I believe that there is a grand conspiracy. Now, I know that... We are going to fall through the floor. I also know that what we have to do is... Go this way and observe... Uh, where the path is. Please don't step on the leaves. So, what you need to do is go back... Oop, I stepped on the leaves, but it doesn't matter here, because... Oop, hello. A whimsum. What's a whimsum? Approach meekly. Oh, I didn't want to fight it. I hit the wrong button. Um, let's console the whimsum. Oh. Oh, I got no gold. I ran away. Well, that's okay. Um... So, if my memory serves me correctly, you want to go this way, then this way, uh, this way. Oop, I got attacked. Uh, no, no, I want to hack. That's what I want to do. Console. Oh, poor Winston. Well, we're doing the right thing. Uh, oh, this is correct? Yeah, okay, we did it. Okay, now, three out of four of these rocks recommend we push them. A line of mold smalls. Um, no, I don't want to fight them. I want to act. We can flirt with it. Oh, What a meaningful conversation that was. Whoa, oh, 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 whoa, 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 guys, seriously, seriously. I thought we had a thing going. Imitate. Oh. Oh. Um, wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's float again. Oh. Have we won yet? Oh, whoops. Whoops, they hit me. I feel like we're close to winning. But I don't know. Maybe I should be doing something else. Maybe we should 
shit. Oh, oh, we didn't get hit. Good. That Mold Small Blade B. Let's see what Mold Small... Let's imitate Mold Small B. What is that? Slime sounds. Blurble blurb, sexy wiggle. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, it doesn't go on. It's ruminating. Um, what if I check? What does it check? Oh, it just keeps... Curvaceously attractive, but no brains. Okay. Whoa! A bit more damage. Glad I got the can candy now. Let's imitate again. At what point do I get... Maybe I'm actually going to have to fight these guys. I might have to do damage to them. Um... Can I spare them? Oh, I can spare them already! Oh! Oh, maybe that fight went on for a lot longer than it needed to. Okay, let's push... Oh, hang on. Is that the rock? The rock is talking to me. You're literally better than that rock. Yeah, I want you on that square. No. Yeah. Get on the square. Yes, it was very helpful. Rock, seriously? Yes. You're a rock. Right, thank you, rock. Ooh, piece of cheese. Okay, say, get the cheese first and then save it. Oh, stuck to the table. Oh, this I didn't even see the mouse hole, that's adorable. Huh. Can I interact with the mouse hole? Oh, it just makes a squeaky sound. Still stuck to the table. Oh well. Oh, let's keep going. Okay. Um. I don't really want to move it with force, but it does need to get out of my way. Oh. Napster book. That's an interesting name for a ghost. Let's cheer him up. Oh, don't, don't. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Whoa! Wow, that went horrifically wrong. Oh. <laughs> I love this. This is, this is great. Really not feeling into it right now. Can I mercy him yet? We'll do it once. Let's cheer him. Oh, I told him a little joke. He laughed. Is he gonna cry at me again? No, don't cry at me. Damn it. The tears are really annoyingly difficult to dodge. Uh, uh. Oh, I couldn't spare him. Oh, well. oh, that's right. With the spare thing, it has to be yellow, doesn't it, for it to work? Here again. Let's show me something. Let me try. That's fantastic. Oh. That's adorable. Um, hmm, hang on. Ah. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave seven gold in the web. I only have eight gold. Um, what about this one? Oh, I only have eight gold, so we can only leave seven gold in the web. Let's leave seven gold in the web. I'm sure this will become important later. Some spiders crawled down and gave us a donut. Everything about this game is adorable. Um, so, one of the things that attracted me to this game 
was the fact that it's by a guy who apparently uh, was responsible for an Earthbound sort of hack that was basically Earthbound fan fiction. Um, and apparently Earthbound was a huge inspiration for this game, which doesn't surprise me at all. Um, the main come eat food made by spiders for- oh, that's just reminding us about the spider bake sale. What about the- what, what's the frog up to say? Ribbit? Oh, he's upset. His friend never listens to him. Oh, they skip through his words by pressing the X button. What horrible people. I do. Oh. Oh. You know, I don't think I've ever seen anyone interact. None of the Let's Plays I've ever done seem to interact with these frogs. Ah, uh, that indicates when you can spare it. The yellow name. Okay, yeah. I think I thought that. I think it's very helpful. It is rather helpful. Ooh. Foreshadowing? Oh, hi, Toriel. They've got a point. Should I refer to tutorial as a she? Let me know in the comments. I mean, by default, I'd probably do that with everything, but not everything will want to. Do. Was I supposed to fall down here? Oh, I feel like I was supposed to get. Well, what? Vegetoid came out of the earth. Uh, let's talk to it. Oh, okay, well, fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, I got hit. I, I'm gonna have to heal. Here for my health. What about dinner? Eat our greens. Uh, I actually kind of know what's going on here. Oh! If I get to it... Dinner. Eat my greens. Give me some greens I can actually get to. Whoa. No! Damn it! Mysterious smile. Trying to get some health off him, but he's not being super there. Oh, I'm. How did I miss that? Ah. Oh. Come on, give give me something I can actually eat. I want to actually. Uh, got it. Okay, but I took damage while trying to do that. Let's. Uh, let's hang on. Let's back now and spare. Four gold. Awesome. That makes up for the uh, bake sale. Um. Let's see how this works, I think. Uh, I think I see how this works. Oh, whoops. Lukes, what's a Lukes? That's an enemy I haven't seen before. Let's not peek on him. Oh! You could, like, not attack me. Hang on. Yay, I won five gold. Wow, I made a lot of money out of that guy. Um, I think we have to go down... Is it here? Yes, because that's where the switch is. We need to hit. Yeah, okay. oh, oh, we're getting attacked in. Oh, I meant to, like, heal myself, didn't I? Let's not peek on the Lukes. Mind you! You might get it, but you sort of dodge it. There we go. We won. Five more gold. Okay, while we're here, let's, uh, item... Oh, oh, hang on. <sighs> I have to remember how to use it. Let's use the monster candy. Uh, that should give us some health. Good. So I probably, probably didn't need to panic too much about that, but it was worth it. Now, is there anything else in any... Let's... Uh, I'm worried that I'm going to miss something by not going down another one of these. Let's go down another one of these holes, just see if there's something in this. Oh, yes, there is too. Among other things. Oh, hi, Luke's. Now we just gotta dodge! Damn it. Smells like eye drops. 
Really? There is something we need to do here. So we need to go. Well, we need to get the carrot. Um, Vegetoid. Let's see if we can give us some more health. Awesome. Eat our greens. Give me some greens to eat. Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. Damn it. I missed. Yeah, he's really here for my health. Uh, is he, uh, merciable? Okay, okay let's, uh... What happens if you choose Devour? Oh. Oh, you can... Oh, but we probably shouldn't because that, that would be bad, wouldn't it? Mysterious smile. No. Let's talk to him. Plants can't talk, dummy. Oh. Dinner. A healthy meal. Eat our greens. So. Got it! Yay! And I lost it. Okay. Spare him. We could have eaten him. But I'm not sure what would have happened if we'd eaten him. Okay, so where I actually want to go while we're here is I want to go down this one. Because that will lead us to here. Hi, Napster Blue. So we wanted to do that, uh, and now we want to go this way, so let's keep going. The far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. It's a switch, press it. Sure, why not? Nothing happened. Oh. So I'm guessing these are all switches. It's a switch, press it. Yes, nothing happened. Oh. I was so sure something would happen. Nothing ever happened. Whoa, 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 what have we now? It's Luke's. Hi, Luke's. Let's not pick on Luke's. Let's be nice to Luke's. Oh, Luke's. I'm trying to be nice, and you keep, like, throwing bubbles at me. But, you did give me five gold, so that's cool. I'm happy about that. Okay, so. You can read this. Press the blue switch. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion. Oh, hi, Vegetoid. Um, we have Migosp. Let's talk to Migosp. He doesn't care. Ah! Oh, whoa, 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 guys, seriously, come on. Vegetoid's here for our health. Let's talk to Vegetoid. Let's get some dinner. Eat our greens. Give me some greens. There we go, we got some greens. Ooh, that was scary. Okay, so we can spare Vegetoid. So can I, can I just do that? Can I like spare? Yes. Swing your arms, baby. Oh, he's like dancing? Doesn't have a care in the world. Oh. We can mercy him. Yay, we won. We got six gold. Um, I wonder. Switch, press it. Yes. Okay, cool. So things I know about this room. If you can read this, press the red switch. Well, the red switch is over there. Things I know about this room is that it's the same room repeated in different perspectives. Luke's. Hi, Luke's. Let's be nice to Luke's. Uh, I get you. I get you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You get me. You know, like... That'd be nice. Really. Oh, well. Did I hit the switch? No, I didn't. Switch. Press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. Let's go up. Okay. Um, you can read this. Press the green switch. Um, oh, ah. A pair of Vegetoids. Act. Let's uh, dinner them. We're gonna get like double, aren't we? Oh, 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 oh we got that. So that's okay. Oh, whoa. We're not doing very well. I might just... I might spy the donut. I might need to eat that, yeah. It's probably really important. Contains vitamin A. Oh, there's no greens this time because I didn't do the dinner thing. Okay, we can spare a vegetoid. Now we have to dodge the other vegetoid. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's it doing? There we go. Okay, gave him a serious smile. Awesome. 
dinner. Give me some food. Let's see if we can't get max health here while we're here. Uh, I sort of regret. Oh, we got max health. Oh, okay. So, spare the vegetoid, and we got eight gold. Uh, is this the switch? That was not the switch. Oh, my. Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, that went well. Uh, at least we don't have to do the switches again. Probably have to fight something again though. No? Not fighting anything so far. Uh, this must be where the green switch is hiding behind here. Yes. Good. So we made it that far so far. Oh, we got crawled up close. Oh. Well, whatever. Seriously. Mercy the mold's mold. Now that I know how that works, Lala, just be yourself. He wants to dance. Maybe we can mercy him now. Can we mercy him? We can. Awesome. Okay. Two gold. Let's keep going. Let's go through here. Should I go up there? That looks like it's important. Let's see what's over here first, in case there's something. No, I'm not hurt. Okay. Wow, that's a... Oh, save point. Yay! Okay, apparently everything is full of surprises. Toys that don't interest me at all. Oh, but I like toys. Toys are cool. An empty photograph frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Oh, it's a lie. Ha! The music changes. That's cool. What about the bed. Oh, I jumped on the bed. Oh, there's a pie there. I found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Awesome. What else is around here? Oh, it's another bedroom. Toriel's diary. Read the circle pass. Yes. Okay. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Really? The most sundera of plants. Right. Okay. S Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Th this game is fantastically well written. Um. Huh. Oh. Uh, I think that's everything we can interact with here. down here. Oh, there's a door with a sign on it. Room under renovations. It's us! Whoa! Yay! It's us! Oh! It is a water sausage. We found a water sausage. 
See, if we hadn't read the book, we wouldn't have known what that was. Flower seeds and bro. Whoa, whoa, what? What's going on there? Something weird's happening. Oh, yeah, hang on. I, I think I slightly knocked the analog stick on my controller, and I ha have noticed with this game actually that. Um, What's oh, another water sausage? I've noticed with this game actually the analog stick is a bit funny, so I just need to be a little bit careful with that. If I start moving weirdly, that'll be why. Uh, let's see, is there anything over this way? Oh, it's Toriel. Of course there is. But I want to see what was here. An old calendar from the be beginning of 21X. 201X. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh. The thing with Toriel that I find is, um, the thing with Toriel is that as friendly as she comes across, there's also this, I always find her a little menacing. Like every time I've watched this, I've just found that Toriel is trying to do what's best for me. Um, but there's also something a little bit sinister about it that I've never quite understood. Maybe I'll find out as we go through the game. Oh, that's nice. Yes, of course I wanted something. What was it? Uh, when can I go home? What? This, this is our home. Oh, but... Very obsessed with snails. fire magic to cook things with. I'm go back this way and let's go down these steps. Uh, okay. And this is why Toriel is sinister. But in order to keep going, we've got to keep doing this. Oh dear, who's Asgore? Don't wanna. You're not my real dad, Toriel. I'm guessing we have to ignore all these warnings. Yes. Oh, do I have to fight Toriel? Um, I don't, I don't want to fight Toriel. Whoa! Ow! Damn it, Toriel, stop with the... You're supposed to be nice! Uh-oh. I think we're gonna fail. Ow! Get, get in here. Maybe I actually have to fight it. Wow! Maybe I should flee. Oh. 
two health. I've got pie. Ew. Oh, whoops. Um, maybe I actually do have to pie. Oh, this Oh. Toriel has a lot of health. That can hit. Awesome. Not that it's fighting is really here. Still. Oh, that pattern. This pattern is the annoying one. Ow. Ow. Oh! So if you haven't guessed, with the fighting, um, you need to... Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't have a lot of health, so I really need to avoid uh, all that stuff. Hang on a second. No, Toriel! I figured it out. I'm so glad I figured this out. I remembered what the frog had said. See how our attacks are avoiding me now? This is how to do it. See, our attacks are avoiding me. I really wish I had more health. It reminds me um, a lot of uh, the end of. Uh, I'm gonna spoil it. Um, if you've never played the end of Earthbound, um, either stop watching now or uh, spoil it. It's the end of the the final boss battle in Earthbound, where um, you actually have to use well a specific mechanic that the game has that you barely use up to that point, and you don't really get a good look at what it does up until that moment. And you discover that um, you have to use it for the final boss fight. Um, well, stop trying to kill me, damn it. This is actually really cool, um, the way this is done. And the way it's told. See, the attacks are getting. They're not even getting near me. Is there something I'm missing now that I should be doing? Maybe I should try... Uh, I don't know. There we go. We got it. Yes, in a lot of ways, this this does remind me of the final boss battle of uh, Earthbound.
by Toriel. Maybe we'll meet again? I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully there's a save point here that I can save the game at, and uh, we can call it a video once we get there, so... We'll work our way through this long corridor. Um, and uh, this is where we'll leave it for now, so... Um, as soon as I find... Oh, oh, it's Flowey again. actually defeat Toriel by fighting. Surely you can. In this kind of game, of course, you could. Um. Flowey is really creepy. Like, genuinely, properly creepy. Anyway. Oh, we've started the game. Awesome. Please let there be a save point here. Well, we'll work our way across here. There's a lot of noise happening that I don't like. It's happening in my left headphone. That's a thing behind us. See, I don't actually know what happens beyond this point. I've never actually seen the game past here, so... Can I save now? Uh, I'd really like to save the game now. Okay. Sands. His name is Sands and he talks in Comic Sans. Right. His brother is called Papyrus. Does his brother talk in... Oh boy. Typography jokes. That's what this game needed. Is there a save point there? Please tell me there's a save point here. I need to save the game. Papyrus talks in Papyrus. Doesn't quite look like it, but I'm pretty sure that's meant to be Papyrus. In my head, Papyrus sounds like Skeletor from the old He-Man cartoons. I have a sneaky, sneaking suspicion that that's what everyone thinks he sounds like. Oh, I, oh, really? Really? Wow. Okay. Can I, can I get to a save point now, please? Like, I just, I just want to save the game. That'd be great. Oh boy. 
Really? I'm gonna have to sit through this. Oh god. These two. Yeah, he's meant to sound like Skeletor, I'm convinced of that now. Good, can I save my game now? Yeah, yeah, um, that's a really good idea. It's a checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Can I go inside it then? No? Nope. Okay. Uh, hopefully the next screen has the save point. I so wish it would have. Really? Save point! Yay! Okay, we're gonna save the game and we're gonna call it a video. So, um, thank you all for watching and I hope that uh, you're filled with determination to see the next episode.